Well, good day everyone. I guess you're here now because you are curious about whether you can wash your leather jacket, your pride and joy, in the washing machine. Well, I was curious too, so I thought I'd give it a go. Now, I'd always wanted a, a jacket that had, uh, had already been broken in. Uh, someone else had already done the hard work and you know, all I had to do was put it on and wear it and, and look the part. Well, I'm going to try this with a, an old jacket that I picked up second hand off Flea Bay. Uh, it cost me 70, 70 Australian dollars plus you know, 15 or so dollars to get it posted to me. So, so far I'm in for this jacket for 85 dollars. Uh, $85. Well, let's have a, a quick look at it. I've got no idea how old it is, but it's distressed uh, brown leather uh, bomber jacket uh, made in Melbourne, Australia. Made from genuine, genuine leather. Um, I tried to Google the, the company, but uh, they didn't show up, so um, they're probably out of business for a little while. And on the back of the tag, it says. Do not wash. Dry clean only by specialist suede and leather dry cleaner. Do not iron. Well, whoops, I didn't read that. So, as you can see, it is uh, you know, a little bit beat up, a little bit worse for wear, and when I got it out of the uh, packaging, it really was quite musty and stinky. My wife said I wasn't allowed to bring it inside, so I thought, well, um, I'm going to have to try and uh, try and wash it, get the smell out of it, and see if I can bring it back to some sort of um, um, you know, usable uh, standard that uh, you know, my wife will be happy to have it inside. So that's the jacket. Uh, it's really heavy, good quality leather. Um, no real marks or, or scuffs on it. The cuffs are pretty good. And there's a few tears in the lining, but hey, it's old and second hand. You know, if I wanted a new jacket or I wanted everything you know, Mickey Mouse, I would have bought it off the shelf. But I wanted something with a bit of character in it, and we'll see how we go with this. Okay, well here's the, the jacket, we've got it in the laundry, I've turned it inside out, I've done all the buttons and the zipper up, so that's it there, inside out ready to go, I'm going to use, uh, well, it's a, a wool and delicate mix, it's supposedly all natural ingredients, so hopefully it doesn't do any damage. And it says to use about 30 mils. So, guesstimate 30 mils. And then like that. And the other thing I'm going to do is put, put the jacket in a, um, it's an old quilt cover. I tried a, a, a pillow slip earlier, and the pillow slip was too small, and we haven't got a laundry bag big enough. So I'm going to put it inside this old uh, single bed quilt cover, just to uh, protect it a bit, uh, and stop it getting beat up by the machine. So just bear with me while I um, put it in there and uh, tie it up. Tying a knot in the end of the quilt cover. <clears throat> All right, so I've got the jacket in the quilt cover. Just tied a knot in the quilt cover like that. And give it a bit of protection. Toss it in the machine. I'm going to use a hand wash cycle 
36 minutes and start. Well, let's see how it goes. Okay, so here it is, here's the jacket now. Uh, I've got it uh, hanging uh, inside out uh, in the shed. So it's out of the direct sun and uh, element. So let it dry, dry naturally. It's probably gonna take a couple of days now to, to dry. Um, yeah, it is, it's picked up a lot of water. It's probably picked up its own weight. So it probably weighs, I don't know, four kilos now. Uh, see some of the water still dripping out of the, the jacket but uh, it's soaking wet straight out of the machine and uh, we'll see how it dries over the next couple of days. Okay, we're back after a few days. It's been sitting out here in the, the shed. Uh, the jacket looks to have dried quite nicely. Now while it's been drying, I've been turning it inside out then back the right way and inside out. Um, also trying it on uh, while it was damp because uh, apparently leather can shrink when it's wet uh, so if it's wet and it's shrunk a little bit you've still got the opportunity to stretch it back out to size but I didn't have to worry about that because it didn't shrink at all for me now it's dried fairly well all the way through but it's still got the nice color to it it's a little bit lighter than it was before but it looks to have come up a treat. I've also examined it. the stitching and the lining. There's no additional damage with it going through the, the washing machine. And uh, it's just about time now to try and uh, put the leather conditioner on it. All right, so I've got it laid out on the, the uh, bench to, to work on a uh, nice solid surface. Uh, I'm going to use a product called uh, Oakwood Leather Conditioner. It's made in Australia. It's got lots of good gear in it. It's got a slight hint of eucalyptus oil, so it's not unpleasant to smell. Um, there are a number of other products in, on the, the market. Some people use Neat's Good Oil or Mink Oil, but uh, they're more for waterproofing. This one's uh, a proper leather conditioner. It's used extensively in... Uh, uh, saddlery and uh, other leather work so we'll put that on and we'll see how it goes so just get a, an old sock and put some of the the goop on the um, on the sock and from the sock we'll put it onto the coat and rub that in now I'm not sure if you want to watch me rub it all in so uh, I'll go ahead and, and do half the jacket and then show you uh, what half the jacket looks like when it's done. Alright well that's half the jacket done. It hasn't changed the colour a great deal. It's made the right hand side of the jacket uh, a little shinier. It's much softer and more supple to the touch. Uh, it's definitely got that hint of eucalyptus smell about it now, which is really very uh, quite pleasant. Uh, the biggest difference is, was on the on the sleeves. Uh, the sleeves very noticeably were dry, and you know, it soaked up a lot of the uh, oakwood conditioner. Uh, so I'll do the rest of the jacket, then let it sit for a little while, then. Uh, you know, in accordance with the instructions, you give it a, a soft polish afterwards. So a few steps to go, but it's looking really good. Okay, well that's the uh, the whole jacket done now. And uh, personally, I think it, it's been transformed. Almost looks new. The lining's still a bit ratty. But as far as the leather itself, it's come up really well. I'll uh, let it soak it in now for a, a day or so. Give it another polish or a bit of a rub down with a cloth. And uh, I think from there it'll be ready to go. Alright, so here we are um, back out in the shed. It's 
uh, about f nearly a week now after I first washed it. Um, three days or so since I put the leather conditioner uh, on the coat. The conditioner's had a chance to soak in and do its job. Uh, there's a little bit of a, a sheen to it. It's nice and, and soft to the touch. Uh, it doesn't feel dry or it's like it's going to crack. And it's still got a really pleasant smell about it which is much different to what it was when I first uh, got the jacket. Now, would I try this with a um, an expensive designer name jacket? Probably not. But would I try it again with um, yeah, a cheap, cheap jacket or something that's been lying around for a long time or something you picked up out of the second hand shop or a flea bay? Sure I would. But uh, you know, I'd recommend it to anyone but your mileage may vary and the risks are all yours I'm glad I took the risk on this because it's turned out really well thanks for watching